there. Um, I understand that you're looking for some math resources. Um, I think that's kind of an area that's like hidden gems in terms of us world books and more. So um, I'm excited to share them with you. Um, I don't, I can kind of give you an idea of some things that I'm thinking about. Um, I don't necessarily have everything on hand, but just to kind of give you a sense of like what we have to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so the books don't appear backwards and we'll get started. So the first one, this is um, our, let me see if I can pull this back a little more, yeah. Um, so this, these, we have some really nice math activity books. I don't have the addition and subtraction one, but um, my son did it over the summer. He's going into second, or he's in second grade now, and um, it's fantastic. It goes from, it's definitely not beginning addition and subtraction. It's more advanced than that. I mean, it starts out kind of basic, but then it kind of goes from there. Um, it has nice, like, little tricks for learning addition and subtraction and that kind of thing and it's very inviting it looks similar to this in terms of the layout um different fun activities you know um it also has like stickers in the back which are kind of fun um just a way to make learning a little bit more inviting and fun um so like i said we have the addition and subtraction one um another idea this might may or may not be of interest to you. It's our 10 days. Um, this is the division mastery, but we also have um, addition and subtraction. And so, well, I should say there's an addition one and a subtraction one. So um, these are more just for memorizing facts. So as you go through, um, it just has mostly just, you know, like memorizing sort of the um, more basic facts. And then it also has a wrap up that the way you, these are nice because um, you can take them anywhere and sort of that, especially children that are like um, more tactile learners, it's helpful to them. And so you just take what you do is it has the addition one would have 10, 10 of these keys. And then you just go through and you just say like, um, you know, seven plus one is, you know, and then you'd find this is a division one. But anyway, you'd find the eight. And, you know, you just kind of keep going like that, wrapping it around until you're done. And then you flip it over and you can actually, it will self-correct for the child so they can see. Um, just give me like a minute, okay, buddy? Well, go ahead. You can get one. It's in the cabinet there. Um, so that's our 10 days. And underneath the sink. So that's our 10 days. So this is, it's $14.99 and then you get both. So it's kind of nice. You can use it between kids too. Um, you can buy it another, um, workbook if you want to. They're only $4.99 separately. But anyway, that might not be of interest. I'm not quite sure. We also have a nice series of flip the flap. So, um, this is great for, it makes learning, I think a little bit more fun. And it also, um, like my son the other day, he was doing the fractions one. He's like, did you know that two fourths is, is the same as one half? And I was like, I did know that, but he was like flipping through it and looking for the answers. So anyway, it has kind of a nice way of breaking it down. Sometimes it gives little tips and hints for, you know, figuring out equations and that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, so that would be an idea as well. Like I said, we go on all, we have like first math and then it goes all the way on up to like fractions and decimals, I think is the highest one. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you are our learning palettes. They actually, I do not think they come in this bag anymore. I think it's more of like a box. I haven't ordered one since they changed it, but this stuff inside is exactly the same. So this one is actually for reading, but um, it's the same idea. And I looked for the learning palettes for second graders, the math ones, um, does do place value. So the way this works is you take this off like this, and then you take out all the little um, we call them donuts or cookies. So you take out all of these and then um, you can just pick whichever one you're wanting to work on. For example, this one I'm doing, just pull out beginning vocabulary here. So there's all those sheets in there and then you put it on there like this. And then you kind of, um, for example, like, what is this one working on? Hand. So you're looking for where's the hand? So it's a blue, um, donut so we put the blue donut there and then you're looking for a tooth find the red donut put it there it's nice because they can do it on their own if you're working with another child you can give them this or you know if you're on the phone or whatever and then it also again self-correct so you flip it over and then you can see where the um if they got the answer right or wrong um and like i said we have math it goes all the way on up it's like starts with kindergarten and goes on there are some math concepts that go up to fifth grade. So um, this is a great option as well. Um, and then this, this I kind of just threw in there for fun. I think sometimes um, math can become 
children kind of get queasy about it. So if they can play games and turn it into something fun, sometimes that's helpful. So this is the math puzzle pad. Honestly, I have, I have yet to do anything with it, but it looks neat. And um, sometimes it just helps to kind of play games with numbers and that kind of thing. It seems like there's a lot of different puzzles and ideas in here. And then this is the number and puzzles games, the same idea. So anyway, I hope that's helpful to you.